What's going on YouTube? I'm here to talk about the PlayStation Portal and my thoughts. Um, I read all the uh, reviews, saw all the videos, and I just quite don't understand what's the hate about this piece of hardware. I mean, it's plain and simple. It was designed for remote play. Um, you can take it outside, but it has to be under Wi-Fi, which is fine. I mean, it is what it is. Um, today I'm going to be playing Ghost Recon Breakpoint because I haven't seen anybody play it on YouTube yet. So let's see how it handles. on the PlayStation Portal. I got this uh, straight out of uh, PlayStation uh, Direct on launch, like they advertised, and I got it on time. Now, my experience with this game has been pretty good. I haven't experienced any lag as far as my Wi-Fi goes. I did try it at work, which I'm about 45 minutes away from work on their Wi-Fi. And it played perfectly with no issues. Um, it took probably less than a minute to, to log in. But that is what it is. Um, as far as the transfer from the console to the portal, it's, it seems pretty much the same. Um, I haven't seen any choppy images or, or break in animation. Um, everything seems to be functioning the way it should be. Just like in the console. The animation seems pretty good, as well as the audio. Um, as far as the reviews go, you know, people say that don't bother buying it because you can't really, you know, do whatever you want with it outside of the house. But some say that it's as good if you know you have kids or, or if you have one of your TVs occupied it's intended for that type of use now, whichever way you go with it I, th I think it's, it's up to you but in my experience I think PlayStation did a pretty good job with it the design is kinda weird and you know take some used to getting used to um, it's not bad. You know, these are a little smaller than, than your, uh, average, uh, con uh, PS5 controller, which it's a good thing because my hands are a little big and they fit just fine. Um, what else? I mean, it runs pretty well. Games are are pretty much a, a rip from the uh, console. As far as uh, image quality goes, I don't really see any much of a difference. But that's just my opinion. I mean... Pretty cool. All the functions are pretty much the same. Um, the joy, these little joysticks, they're to me, I think they're a little small. 
I might get the um, uh, what do they call them? The um, the joystick covers that kind of pan out a little bit further out for better coverage on your thumbs. The triggers are pretty much responsive. They do what they're supposed to. So yeah, um, I like it so far. I don't base my purchases on what other people's uh, opinions are. I mean, the majority of them that I I encounter, you know, they they bought it just to try it out because it's something new and something exciting, I guess. You know, everybody needs a little excitement every once in a blue moon, and I guess this is just it for this year. Um, hopefully, PlayStation in the future makes some upgrades to this because I think it, it is a, a nice addition to have. You know, not for you, I mean, not just for you, but you know, for kids as well around the household or, or maybe if you take a trip somewhere you know just to keep them busy um well yeah let me know what you guys think as far as the price i think the price is pretty decent for what it is and i was you know lucky enough to get one from like i said playstation direct you know, I see uh, eBay already scalping these, and, and it's just ridiculous. You know, you shouldn't have to pay twice or three times more than, than what it was advertised. That's, that's just wrong. You know, especially for something like this that everybody, I'm pretty sure, is going to enjoy. But yeah, uh... Those are my thoughts. This was my review. Uh, and this is Ghost Recon Breakpoint on the PlayStation Portal. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you get it. And have a great day. Take care. Bye.